Hello guys. Today I am going to teach you, how to use Cheetah Keyboard Console. Open your web browser, and type launcher.cmcm.com. Here we go. Now log in with your ID and password. As you haven't created any theme yet, your console will look like this for the first time. Click the start button. Here you can find different type of themes option. But you must select keyboard theme. And give a suitable title name for your theme. For example I am taking demo theme as theme name. Click OK. Here is your keyboard theme console. You will get every options here to make changes in your themes. And the best part is you can see preview while doing changes in designs. Just move the mouse cursor to the thumbnail of the file. You can see the preview on the left side. OK. Now before starting to upload files, copy the theme folder which I have given to you. And rename it with the theme name which you have just given in the console as title. Now open it. Here you can see all the files and folder. Quick tips. Open the reference folder, download all the reference files you need, and move them to this folder. It will help you in future to sort out your design files and maintain your data. Now go to Assets folder. This folder includes all of the keyboard design elements, like background image, alphanumeric key, function key, candidate bar, all small icons etc. For learning process I am using all the old files only. But I am assuming you already have finished the designs and save your all files like this theme folder. For example, I have given you a topic named Fire Skull. So start like this man. First open your background image in Photoshop and design it in your way. Save and replace it. Then start making keys design like this way. And go on. OK. Come back to console, you need to upload background image first. Click the thumbnail, go to your theme folder directory. And choose the right file. And you can see the preview with background image immediately. Don't forget to scroll up down to check, if something is left to upload. OK, background is done. Now click normal key. Here you will notice almost every keys have two states. 1. Default condition. 2. Pressed condition. OK, click default key and upload suitable file. Now upload the pressed key. You can see the difference in preview. And you can change alphabet's color from this box. You can give hex color code from Photoshop or click the plus button to choose color from here. Always choose high contrast matching color with your theme. And check if the keys are completely visible or not. You can move left and right small numbers and symbols from here. And you need to give a color for the same. This is the bubble key. When you touch the alphanumeric keys on keyboard, this key will pop up. Simply upload the bubble key from folder. Now come to long pressed bubble key. When you press any key for long time, this bubble background will pop up. Here you need to know about dot .9 patching. You have noticed in my assets folder, many PNG have extension like dot .9 PNG at the end. I will make a dedicated video for dot .9 PNG. Here just remember one thing, dot .9 patching is a technique where you have to create one pixel black line at most outer pixel line of each four side of the PNG. And have to keep blank four corner. Don't worry I will discuss it in another video. Now choose the gesture color. Now go to function keys, choose the default option here. Just like normal key upload the normal condition of function keys. As well as pressed condition. 
and change the color. Here you have to upload few icons which will sit top of function keys, like shift, ok, enter, go, tab, next, etc. Now you have to upload space key for normal and pressed condition. And you can notice this is a .9png file, that's why the space key is stretching little bit. Select a color for text over space key. Upload the voice icon as well. Now choose color for setting panel background, try to choose the major color of your theme. And choose high contrast color for text over the background. Ok done. Now come to candidates. You have to upload two candidate bar design. One is for normal another is for cloud based. Try to keep same design in both files. Choose four of candidates bar icons, settings, theme, emoji, and search. And now choose predictive word colors from here. Now come to font. Choose a matching font depending on your theme. Choose some cool sound effect from here. Play with these sound, choose which suit best for your theme. Now effects panel. Choose a cool matching effect according to your theme. Now here is a trick part. Listen carefully. For example, you are creating Fire Skull theme from the previous theme folder, named Pink Love theme. And still now you have already created all the design except, banners, covers and logo. So you cannot create banner or logo right now, cause you don't have the screenshot of keyboard. But you need to upload all the files here in console to complete the process and generate the app file from here. So trick is, upload old logo, banners, covers, preview all file in this section. So here you get an error. It is telling this file size is larger than 50 KB. So I will prefer you to open tinypng.com and compress all of your banners and covers file, cause these are the large file size. But remember one thing. Please don't compress the logo file. You need to the logo in 30 to bit image format. If you compress so it will become 24 bit. When you have completed all, click the export button to generate app file from here. Wait for few minutes, and you get a app file. Download this and move this app file to your Android phone, and install the theme. And now you can easily get a screenshot of keyboard and emoji screen interface. Now for the last time, check everything carefully. Now click on the submit button. Give a theme name. Choose the appropriate category for your theme. Also choose the color which has majority in your theme. Leave tag and description empty. And finally click the submit button. It will take few seconds, and if everything is done perfectly, you will get success message. Now go to keyboard theme section. And you will find your first theme will be appeared here. Congratulations! You have successfully created your first keyboard theme. One last suggestion. Whatever theme you are creating you need to spend more time and creativity to present your theme. And people only can see the logo, banners, preview at first glance. If this designs are cool, then only they will download your theme. So I will prefer please visit Play Store and search for topic which you are creating theme.
and take reference from top 5 themes and start to create your banners, it will enhance your skill and make you learn something new. Thank you so much for your patience.